We said that view composers are callbacks or class methods that are called when a view is rendered. If you have data that you want to be bound to a view each time that view is rendered, a view composer can help you organize that logic into a single location. In the previous video, we did everything inside the app service provider file. This time, we will create our own provider. We will take a couple of steps to achieve our goals, but don't worry about it. It is very easy to understand how it works, and I will also summarize everything at the end. For now, open a terminal and say php artisan make provider composer service provider is the name of the class. You don't really have to understand what a provider is now. Just think about it as a helper class that will call our view composer files that we will create in a moment. Let's add the service provider in the app.php file. So app.php and make sure you include it. So we will go to the providers list, app, providers, composer service provider. We also need a folder to keep all our review composer files. So create that folder inside the HTTP directory. All right, here we'll say new folder, view composers. So I will create a new file here inside the view composers and I will name this profile composer.php. We also need a new blade file as well called profile.blade.php inside the pages folder. So resources, views, pages, create a new file, profile.blade.php. I will copy the code from home.blade.php and paste it there. Just delete some of the existing code so we have an empty panel body and change the panel heading to profile. In the previous video, we said in the app service provider, view with, and then the key value pair, the key is auth and the value is auth user. This time we will do the same thing, but inside profile composer. So go to the profile composer and let's write the code. PHP, the namespace is app HTTP view composers. And we will also use illuminate view view. Now let's create the class. It is called profile composer. And we also need a function called compose. This requires a view. And as I said, we have pretty much the same code here. So we can just copy this, go here and paste it. Of course, let's change the key value pair. So let's make this married and the value will be a random number between zero and one. Zero for not married and one for married. Now we have to somehow call this profile composer. We already created a service provider. So open that provider, composer service provider, which we just created. Go to the boot function and uh, we will make the call there in the composer service provider inside the boot function and not in the app service provider this time. So view composer and we need to pass first of all the path to the view which is pages.profile and the path to the profile composer which is app http view composers, which was the folder that we created, and then profile composer. Now we also need a route and the function to call the profile view. So go to web.php and create the route there. Route get the URI is profile and this will call the pages controller at profile. Create also the function, so pages controller public function profile. You already know how to call a view, return view, pages.profile. Let's see if this works. So go to slash profile. And we forgot to import view inside the composer service provider. So let's do that. Use 
view. Let's go back and it works. Now let's go to the view profile and see if we can pass data to it using the page composer and not the controller. So we are already passing to the profile view the married variable, right? So we should have access to that. Let's try it. Let's go to the body and say create a paragraph there and we try to access the married variable. Let's go back. Now it says 1, 0, 1, 1. So as you see, we are getting a random number between 1 and 0. So make sure you reload a couple of times to see the result. So it works. But let's take a look at the Composer service provider. We are sharing the Profile Composer class only with the Profile view. Which means if we try to access the merit variable in a different view, we should get an error. Let's try to see if this is true. Go to home.blade.php and try to access the merit variable there. Merit, and let's see if it works. You get an error, undefined variable merit. So we did it. We can now share globally variables with all our views or with specific views as we did here. And inside the profile composer, you can specify as many variables as you want. So let's try to see if this is true. View with, we can say test, say test. Access the test variable inside the profile now to see if this works. Test, and let's see, let's go back to profile, reload, there you go, say test. Now, what about the variables inside the app service provider that we created in a previous video? Can we have access to them through the profile view? Of course we have because these are globally. So these are variables that are shared with all views that we created inside the app service provider. So let's try the age variable. Go to profile and say age and we get 23 which is my age so it works let's summarize our work now in the previous video to share data with all views what we did was to use the app service provider and we created everything that we needed there and we saw that we could access these variables in all views we did a test with the home and profile views but it works with all your views so don't worry about it in this video now, we wanted to share variables with specific views. To make this work, we created a composer service provider and inside the boot function, we said that the profile composer is available only to the profile view. In the profile composer now, we just created our data as key value pairs. Pretty much the same logic that we had in app service provider. But if you do it like this, it is more clear. And that was all. The merit and test variables were accessible only to the profile view. One last thing now. What if we want to share the variables inside the profile composer with other views as well? One solution is to copy view composer, paste it, and change the path to the other view. For example, settings. However, there is a much better solution. Let's quickly create a settings route. So go to the web.php route get settings. So this will call the pages controller again. Settings. Create the function public function settings. And this will return a view called pages.settings. Let's create the view now. Settings.blade.php. And we can just copy the content inside the profile blade file. So the content inside the settings view is the same as the profile, but that is fine because we want to test if we have access to the married, test, and age variables. Remember that age variable is shared with all views. So if we browse to slash settings, 
we should get an error that married variable is not defined. So the first solution was to copy and paste the code that we had inside Composer Service Provider. So copy this, paste and change the view. Settings. Save and go back. It works, but this is not the best solution. A much better solution is to create an array of views. Let me comment these lines. So you can always see how to share data with one view and multiple views. And we'll copy this and go here. So we create an array of views. The first one is profile and the other one is settings. Let's try it. Excellent. Now we share the same composer class, profile composer with views profile and settings. One last thing. To end everything regarding views, if you want view composers to execute immediately after a view is instantiated, instead of waiting until the view is about to render, then use view creator. It is exactly the same thing with view composer, you just have to make two simple changes. In the profile composer, change the function name to create, so create, and in the Composer Service Provider, change View Composer to View Creator. So let's go back, reload. Again, it works the same. So this will execute the Profile Composer immediately after the View Profile is instantiated. And the settings, of course, since we are using two views here.